Welcome back to Thalia's Cakes. In today's video, we're going to be making a Fortnite cake. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this tutorial. If you enjoy fun cake decorating and other cake related stuff, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss another video again. Real quick, before we get started, I would like to mention that I did get another request from Icing Smiles and you guys already know how happy it makes me every time I get a request. So if you have no idea what Icing Smiles is, Listen up because this might be something for you. Icing Smiles is a nonprofit organization that allows cake artists or cookie artists to donate their baked goods to children with critical illnesses or children who have already overcome them. If you would like more information to Icing Smiles, I will be leaving the link to their website down below in the description box. All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna get started with the cake toppers and I'm going to start off with the bullets. I use fondant mixed with Tylos for this so that way it would harden faster. To make the shape of the bullet, I'm going to start by rolling out a log shape and then pinching the one side like this. And then using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to get it down to the size that I need it to be. I'm going to use the back part of my X-Acto knife just to give it a little detail like this. And I ended up making seven of these bullets in total. For a more realistic look, I'm going to paint the bullet silver. I used some luster dust and some vodka. And I mixed it up and began to brush it onto my bullets. Once that was set, I set them off to the side to dry. Next, I'm going to get started on making the rim. I rolled out some brown fondant and brushed on some gum paste glue on top, and then I placed a cake pop stick in and made sure to wrap that real nice and tight all over the stick with the fondant. And then I cut off the excess fondant. And then I rolled it back and forth to get rid of any of the dents. The dents. The indents. <laughs> now for the pieces of wood, I cut a couple of brown strips. I purposely cut them a little shorter because if you see in the game, they're like really not thin right here. You know what I mean? So I wanted to keep it, you know, how the game is. So to make the texture on it, I used this fondant tool. And once I did that, I left the sticks to dry for a day and then filled it the next day and glued them on with some gum paste glue. And I let that dry overnight. Now, let's move on to the cake. I already went ahead, filled and stacked the cake, and gave it a crumb coat, which means now I can give it a final coat of green buttercream and place that into the refrigerator for 30 minutes to harden. To make the Fortnite logo, I printed it out and cut it out like this using an X-Acto knife. Once that was cut out, I rolled out some black fondant and placed a little bit of shortening on top to hold the paper in place while I cut around it. Now for the letters of the logo, I went ahead and cut them out and used them to trace out the letters in white fondant. To make sure that the letters get placed on perfectly, I'm going to put the paper back on top and then use that as like, you know, like a little guide to know where to place each letter. So I actually have another solution that might work out for you. If you don't want to go through the trouble of making the logo by hand like I did, wait a minute, wait, spider, spider. If you have a Cricut machine, 
one of these here, you could actually have the Cricut machine cut out the logo using fondant. Right? Crazy. But I don't have a Cricut machine, so I can't show you how to do it. But my one friend Cass knows how to do that and she has a whole tutorial on how to do it step by step. So visit her Instagram, DM her, let her know that you're interested in the whole Cricut fondant thing and she'll help you out, all right? Once that was set, I took out my cake from the refrigerator and placed on the logo to my cake. And in case you're wondering, this cake here is an eight inch cake. I recommend placing on the logo while the cake is, you know, cold. Because if you do it while it's like warm, like room temperature, you might like indent it when you place it on. Cause like it's buttercream, you know? Unless it's fondant, then that's just me. I don't know. Cutting out the trees were extremely difficult. So I had to cut them out separately and then add them on. Now I can move on to cutting out some strips for that little bullet belt thing. I don't know what it's called, but you know what I mean. Once that was on, I glued on the bullets and then placed another strip on top. And with the same color buttercream, I'm going to pipe on some grass on top of the cake. I say it's best to start on the outer side first and then work your way in. And lastly, I added on my cake. I know I didn't teach you guys how to make this number 10, but it's common sense, right? And with some of the leftover wood pieces from the ramp that I was making earlier, I thought it'd be nice to just like, you know, stack them up on top of each other. Oh yeah. And I also made this off camera. I'm very sorry about it, but oh, I made it off camera because I forgot to record it. Hopefully it's not that hard for you to figure out though. And that's it, made it by y'all on Fortnite cake. This cake was very simple, but I had a lot of fun making it, especially because it was going to a good cause. If you do recreate this cake, I would love to see it, so please tag me on my Instagram or my Facebook, because I want to repost it, like I always say, and share with my other people for oh, good. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share it on your social media or, you know, with a friend. And for my new people, Click the circle button right over here to subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't watch last week's video, click this over here, okay, girl? What you doing, huh? Thank you so much for watching. God bless.